Good evening. So it's uh, nearly midnight on the 6th of April and uh, I've spent the day down at uh, Salute 2019. I'm down there with uh, a few of the lads from Lost Ark Games, uh, my uh, wargaming group from Stevenage. A um, bit of an eventful uh, day with one thing and another. Firstly, uh, the train that I was due to catch was late so I missed the connection to pick up the Stevenage lads and uh, they got the fast train and I uh, ended up on a slow train but they were kind enough to wait at King's Cross for me and we made the journey across London to the Excel Centre I managed to get on the wrong Docklands railway train and ended up somewhere I've never heard of um, so I eventually got there having set out at um, quarter past seven this morning um, got to salute uh, around uh, 10.40 um, but the bonus was that we didn't have to queue up and walk straight in. So um, when you get there, you get met with uh, a nice uh, goodie pack or welcome pack. You get the uh, the Warlords uh, Salute brochure, which um, actually is given away in one of the Wargam Wargaming magazines. So uh, I had it anyway, but it's got a few bits and pieces um, from the South London Warlords who arrange salute every year. This is the uh, the second year I've been. I didn't go last year. Uh, I couldn't make last year. There's my choir was singing in a concert. But I went the year before for the first time and so uh, was keen to get back. Um, so with the, uh, the goodie bag you also get a couple of uh, freebies. Um, some kind of advert for uh, another one in Reading in November. And uh, they usually give away a particular figure each year, and this year uh, it's, um, uh, I don't know what it is really, um, some kind of fantasy figure. Unfortunately, uh, the freebies this year are, are going to be of absolutely no use to me, because I have no interest in uh, fantasy. Um, so I don't know what will happen to these, but uh, that's the uh, the figure. And then um, we've got um, something or other. Legion of the Black Sun Necromancer promo model. So I guess uh, that's what it is. And there it is on the back. Again, of no uh, interest to me. But uh, I guess if you're uh, into fantasy, then uh, a nice freebie. And then... Uh, again, of uh, no real interest to me, Beyond the Gates of Antares, the dice game, um, whatever that is. So uh, it's a, a sealed uh, box, and it includes a rule book, 22 dice, faction cards, and a gate system card. Um, I'm not sure that'll ever get played anywhere near me but there you go that's uh, what was in the goodie bag so uh, let's uh, let's have a look at uh, one or two other things I got so my first purchase was at the Victrix stand and I was um, quite keen to get their latest release uh, which is this one here um, it's the Roman generals and uh, I think it, it was on um, pre-order last week but they did say they'd have some at uh, Salute. Um, and it looks like it's so new that they haven't got any uh, artwork for it. Um, so it's just a, a basic bag with 12 mounted Roman generals. Um, here you can see the price I paid. Uh, unfortunately, oh no, there was a discount. Yeah, I, 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 I was just about to tell a lie. Um, I think you got a discount if you bought two or three or four packs um, so it might, might have been about ten pa ten, five or ten percent discount on the whole lot um, so I'll probably do some uh, unboxing videos of these in due course but that was uh, the first set um, got some Gallic armoured warriors so I bought some uh, Gallic soldiers in Warlords uh, Spruce Ale last year got about a hundred of them um, so I thought this would be a nice little addition to uh, that to part of my ancient army. Again, I'll uh, I'll do a, an unboxing uh, video in due course. 
So then uh, I've got some Roman auxiliaries. I've got the other Roman sets. Um, two years ago when I went to uh, Salute, and uh, so I thought I'd pick up one of these. Uh, a set of uh, 24 Roman auxiliaries. And finally, for my um, ancient army, uh, I got some Republican Roman cavalry. So I do have some cavalry, um, which I haven't put together yet, uh, but uh, that'll be a nice little addition. So what's next? So later on in the uh, in the afternoon, um, I went to the Perry stand. Um, I was keen to get their brand new U.S. infantry box, so I'll do an unboxing video in a while, in a while um, to add to my bolt action troops. And these uh, are getting good reviews, and certainly the ones that they had built up and painted on the stand looked uh, tremendous. So I'm looking forward to uh, having a look at those. And then I've got some reinforcements for my American Civil War. So I've got a second box of Zwarves. Uh, I've got uh, some more cavalry, which I've already looked at in unboxing videos. And uh, a new box of uh, skirmishes um, in sack coats. So uh, I'll do an unboxing look at those as well. Um, oh, incidentally, uh, they were selling... The, uh, the Perry box was full price, uh, I believe that was 20 quid. The um, other boxes, all the other boxes, were 15 quid each. Um, and I think, yeah, because I've got uh, bought three boxes of the same genre, I've got a free metal figure. And I can't remember who uh, who they said this was. Um, but it's uh, a, a Union General in metal. So that would be a nice little addition to the, uh, to the American Civil War units. So I wanted to get some uh, movement stands, and uh, I came across a little uh, little stand um, called Products for War Gamers, an interesting business card made out of MDF, which uh, doubles up as a 20 by 40 uh, uh, base. Um, they had some nice, nice stuff on there, um, MDF stuff. A selection of uh, movement trays. So um, these are for uh, skirmishes. Now I don't have um, any skirmishes based up yet. Um, so these are art artillery chaps. Um, but uh, bought these for uh, for American Civil War skirmishes so uh, they will be uh, a little bit easier to move and um, unfortunately they didn't have any uh, standard movement trays just the uh, higgledy piggledy ones so we've got um, three and four and uh, I've got the others these ones here at war bases so um, these will be for the uh, basic units. Unfortunately, I didn't do them in 12s. Uh, so they're going to be uh, units of 12, as per uh, the Rebels and Patriots rules that uh, we're using at the moment. Um, so they only came in sixes. So uh, I'll double, double that up for one, uh, one battalion. So I've just got uh, a couple to test them out, really. And uh, if, if I like them and if they work, I'll, uh, I'll get some more. Um, and whilst I was at the war bases stand, I bought some uh, Roman buildings. So there were three uh, that I've got: um, a stable block, and I'll do an uh, unboxing look at these in due course. Uh, barrack block A. Barrack Block B. So uh, we'll have a look at those later. And um, where is it? Oh, because I spent mm -hmm. so much, I'm not sure how much uh, it was. I've got a special limited edition 
casualty or pin marker. So that was uh, wall bases. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention when I was at the Victory stand, I picked up some shields, just uh, a couple of samples really. Um, not enough for the whole box, but uh, some uh, auxiliaries in two different colours. From uh, Little Big Men Studio Transfers. So this was the stash that I ended up with. Um, I couldn't have physically bought any more unless I'd uh, carried a load of bags as uh, this all came in my rucksack. So I thought I'd show you a few photographs of the uh, tables, um, the uh, demonstration games and some participation games. Uh, there were uh, a number of really nice layouts and uh, some gorgeously painted figures. I've concentrated on the historical tables as I'm I've got no real interest in uh, fantasy stuff um, and obviously there's uh, a split between historical and fantasy at Salute uh, with everything in between um, so unless I was um, particularly enamoured by the uh, scenery I've, I've stuck to the historical stuff um, some wonderful tables it does beg the question of where uh, these folks store all this stuff I mean some of these tables must take up uh, acres of space, uh, particularly the ones that are on uh, large tiles. At, uh, some of the tiles are sort of six, eight inches deep, and you've got a, a full table of uh, terrain like that. One wonders where people store it. But uh, nevertheless, some fantastic buildings. You can see here some uh, some beautiful little buildings and uh, wonderful layouts. Uh, this one in particular I liked. It was a 40 millimeter Wild West. I had a chat with the uh, the guy who did all the scenery. He was pointing me in the direction of uh, rules, uh, which are apparently are downloadable, called Blaze of Glory, I think. Um, and uh, we've got to carry on with uh, all the different genres and periods. Um, I had a nice chat with, uh, I think this was one of the London Warlords uh, tables, um, about some... Uh, ancient gaming, because obviously I've got an interest and bought some r um, Roman stuff. Uh, so I was keen to sort of get some ideas on uh, painting them up, placing them, and that kind of stuff. Oh, this was on one of the uh, the stands. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Um, might have been First Core or something like that. Uh, some small sort of skirmish games and then some large uh, large sort of battalion army sized games uh, this is another fantastic little table and then uh, sort of 6mm or 10mm games again just getting some ideas uh, for some buildings on a large uh, Napoleonic game well, some of the games were smaller and sparser than others but uh, everything was catered for really I don't know if that collection belonged to a single person but it was massive Oh, this was uh, quite interesting, a little space game with little astronauts. Another w Wild West. So that's my overview of uh, Salute yesterday. Had a great day, albeit a tiring one. Um, and thank you for watching.